afternoon, everyone. Dealing with competition is one of the biggest challenges we face as entrepreneurs. Typically, we find ourselves up against a business with more funding, a stronger team, a bigger market share, and various other factors that make it feel like an uphill battle. Today, I'm going to share how you can wipe out your competition. I'm a first-time restauranter and entrepreneur. My husband and I opened a restaurant called Table in Kolaba about eight years ago, which catapulted to a resounding success. Our executive chef and us couldn't have been happier. And for the longest time, we basked in the success of the restaurant. About 18 months ago, in May last year, our chef announced that he was leaving. Now, let me tell you, in our industry, that is not the kind of news that helps you sleep well at night. When the one person, your key man, the face of your brand, announces that he's moving on, all sorts of things start going through your head. How will I continue to innovate? How and where will I find a replacement for the one person that's always been with the business? Will the business survive this news? Will my employees start resigning because they no longer have a mentor? Or because they want to get out before the business starts going downhill? How will I motivate and reassure them when I'm having all these doubts? What will my customers think? Will diners stop coming because of a perceived deterioration in quality? Will I have to close the business? What will my peers in the industry think? As if it wasn't stressful enough to deal with this challenge, someone forwarded me on WhatsApp an article appearing in the midday which announced that our chef was in fact leaving to open his own restaurant and already had investors lined up. I did not know how to deal with the fact that I would be competing with the one person who had helped me build my brand, who was an integral part of our team. And all this was happening in an already fiercely competitive environment. It took me a while to come to grips with my fear and move beyond it to deal and do what I needed to do next. Call it pride or denial, but until today, I've never talked to anyone about this except for my husband, and one other person who happens to be a fellow restauranter. So of course I have friends in the industry whom I meet socially, but at the end of the day, we all go back to running our own businesses. So the last person that I would share my vulnerabilities with would be a competitor. But the fact is that the validation, the insight, and the comfort, things which we all seek, uh, coming from a third party independent person, often carries more weight than when it comes from our well-wishing family members. And this, in fact, I realized later on as a member of Ascent, actually forms the crux of the trust group concept. So it was this insight and trust that actually led to the next phase of my life as a restauranter. One year after our chef moved on, the table in fact continued to do exceptionally well, better than before. And it was us who went on to open our second restaurant. But this time, we didn't go at it alone. We did it in collaboration with what some may perceive were our competitors. We did it with another restaurant group. Now let me tell you something about myself. I was always super academic and in the early years of my career was rushing up the corporate ladder because I was extremely competitive. This partnership today has changed my view of competition 180 degrees. It was like my Eureka moment. So many people asked us, you know, why we needed to join hands 
with another restaurant group when, frankly, the table had such a strong brand in the industry. We had the experience of fine dining. So why did we need to collaborate with another restaurant group that had never ventured into fine dining? Well, I think it was because of the respect that we had for what we had each achieved in our respective businesses. And for, very importantly, a common set of values and ideals of hospitality. Now, some might say, well, if you had so much in common, you were, in fact, each other's biggest competition. But I flipped that thought. Think about it. If you have so much in common, wouldn't it make you stronger? If your thoughts are already so aligned, isn't it easier to work together? And that's how Miss T, our latest uh, venture into dining, a joint venture between two restaurant groups came into existence. Two restaurant groups that had a combined experience of 18 years between them. Now, the practical aspects of collaboration are also innumerable. For instance, typically a restaurant takes between nine and 12 months from conceptualization to opening its doors. Because of the resources and experience between us, Misty took us a record-breaking five. Think about all the rent we saved. Uh, with the table, our one, our one fine dining restaurant, we had set a very high standard of quality. And our partners, who had five restaurants between them, had the knowledge and experience of systems and processes. So we were able to play to each other's strengths and really create something special. A lot of people asked me, well, why do you want to share the profit? Because frankly, I also want to share the risk. And in an industry which has a 90%, yes, 90% failure rate, that's definitely worth something thinking about. And today, in fact, Misty is three months old and we've had an overwhelming response. So don't get me wrong, I am not saying that there's no place for competition or that it shouldn't exist. Competition is, in fact, the thing that drives value and improves quality. But the idea of every man for himself, or in this case, every business for itself, now seems slightly outdated to me. This may seem slightly contradictory, but the idea of non-competitiveness sharing resources, pooling information, and promoting each other is in fact how I think that small businesses can in fact deal with the giants. So before I finish, let me leave you with this one thought. The next time you feel compelled to compete with your peers or crushed in an aggressive competitive dynamic, Remember, it doesn't have to be that way. Remember that as long as both parties have something of value to contribute, collaboration can, in fact, be better than competition if executed correctly. Your biggest competitor could, in fact, be your greatest ally. Thank you.